Hey everybody, welcome back to video number six. <laughs> I'm gonna get lost. Anyways, I pulled the fan back so it doesn't like blow my hair like this. <sighs> it's a little warm out here. Okay, so if you guys didn't see videos one, two, three, four, and five, make sure you go and go over to our channel and click on those. If you guys like vintage Christmas, this is gonna be the spot to be for the month of July, okay? So every Friday this month, July 2024, uh, we are going to be having a live sale at 7 p.m. And it is going to be majority Christmas, okay? Like, I probably have enough stuff, well, maybe, that I could do July and then save some and do some more in November. So, like, I got so much stuff. I'm going back, going back to buy more, baby, let me tell you. Okay, so I pulled some stuff out and we're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna watch the clock. If you've seen the other videos, you know. Um, and I'm just gonna show you some stuff. So, it's like Christmas digging through these bags. Okay, these are, these are great. Look at these. Look at the bags of this silver, like aluminum trim. This one still has its topper, so that's what it says, holiday trim. So it's not called a certain thing. You know how some of those are called like Starburst, blah, 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 you know, no. It just says trim. So freaking cute. It was 97 cents at Sunshine Stores. Now I think she told me that was actually a craft store way back when, and it was a little bit on the pricey side. They still are. <laughs> but those are so, so cute. Saying So look, the Santa Bank, so cute. Um, I I think I've had the planter version. Maybe I've had the bank, but I've had a few of the planter ones. Um, this one says made in Japan. Another Santal product. Isn't that like a perfume? I think it is. It was sold like this because neither of us had seen it before either. But it's a cute snow girl with a little yellow chicky and holly in her hair and she's got all this great glitter all over her. I love vintage glitter. A lot of the times, real old vintage glitter was made out of just broken glass and it can cut your little fingers, but um, I love, there's something about vintage glitter, I love it. Then this was just random, but you know, if you're a Christmas lover, you would take this too, this little pick, this little pick right here. I said, yeah, I'm gonna take it. Now I didn't find the pair to this one. She might have it somewhere. Um, it says Hong Kong, Anesco on the bottom, but it's a cute little, one of those little plastic. This is metal, but this is the, one of those little plastic, almost like cupcake topper like snowmen. Thing I've, ne I've never seen, never seen before. But they suction cups to the window and he's like bouncy Santa. So it has a little suction cup right there. And there's the Santa. This is really cute. You could put a little Christmas tree up and then have him. Look, at he looks like he's gonna fall because he's gonna go put up the star. I love that. And I was looking for like Japan or something, but I don't see it, but it's a safe bet. And he's got like a, a painted little face, like paper mache type face. This is cool, look at this. Blow mold Santa cookie jar. So cute. <laughs> He's like so happy. Um, this one is Carolina Enterprises, 1973. This is older than Aaron. But, and it has the lid. I love it. Christmas. Um, ornament, not ornament. Yes, ornaments, decorations, tree decorations that you would tie to like the tree branch or you could have put them on a wreath and so on and so on. But they're like the little aluminum flowers and there is three in there. So there's blue, red, and then there's a silver. I can get it out with my other finger. There you go. Um, this is neat. So this goes along the lines with the people that kind of like the tacky plastic Christmas. But you pull this, and I'm not gonna do it because last time I played forever, you pull this and it sings Christmas music. <laughs> but like, here's the snowman, and then here's another one. They were just in a bag. 
So you could do assemblages, you can add them, and I said this in another video, you can add them to the pieces that you buy, like say for example, like here's another one. Here's a Santa, okay? Like say you bought this Santa and it was like missing a flower or it's kind of bald right there. And then you could take these kinds of extra pieces, and I know that's big for this item, but you could like glue it on there. That's what those things are really good for. But anyways, here's another item. Santa standing on like a basket. <laughs> okay, now we have some, well, let me just show you the blow molds. It's another one. I do, I have two of these now. So 1968, this one, his butt melted a little. So I don't know if they maybe had a candle or the little light that was in there fell over and touched it. Yeah, Empire Classics 1968. Amazing condition. Okay. And those are the tabletop kind. Obviously I can hold it. Now this one said made in China but it could be like the 90s, you know? I've not seen this one before. He's a little dirty, I gotta clean him up a little. Blow mold, and then I think I've showed you guys all the blow molds I have here. There might be more to come. <laughs> oh, there's another blow mold. Okay, now I wanted to show you some cute little decorations. Um, so she has quite a few elves. They're so sweet. Let me show you a few in my hand at one time. So there's these three. Now his rubber is, you know, discolored and worn. And then his pants are worn. But you can leave them like this if you want. That's sweet. You could have them poking out of something because the top half of them is not too bad. Or you can, you know, glue them into something. Make him part of an assemblage. Then we have a, I've never had nor seen this one. And their material is the same. It was, her dress was throwing me off. It's a different material, but and see, she's, it looks a little bigger. We have Santa coming out of a chimney. This one is made in Japan on the bottom. This is really cute. It does play music. I tested it at her house, but I'm not going to do it or else it'll keep playing. But it's a little wooden, like the wooden Christmas ornament. Um, but they're little freaking penguins and they're so cute. Gabriel loves penguins, so I bet if he saw this sitting on the table, I've not seen with my own little eyes are these kind that have little slippers and like this, these I've not seen either. Really good shape made in Japan. Um, this one, these, oh, I always call them the Rice Krispie Elves because they look like Rice Krispie treats. This one says it's made in Japan. He's got those eyes that'll like burn into your soul. Watch out now. Here's another one where I don't, these must be much either by a different company or just a little older because the rubber has changed colors. He came back for the summer with a nice tan. A Santa. Wait, which way are you supposed to go? This way, his head turned. And another little elf. But this is what I saw so far. Look at the little pine cone guy. He says Japan on the bottom. I think I've only had one or two of these in my whole career reselling. Then we have these two guys. Then we have this sort of like, I don't know if he's a pick. Well, he has this on the back. Or if he was supposed to be sitting in something. Like if he had a sleigh or something like that, you know? Then there's, he's, he's on a sled. Isn't that different? Sled. Yeah, that's the one you sit on or a toboggan or something like that. Then we have this one. Made in Japan, all sparkly. But they used him like a Christmas ornament. See the bottom? It looks like his head came off of something. Now you could take a little bit more felt or something and cover that right up if you didn't want to see that, you know. And then, oh, I found a couple of these. This one's like the silk thread. And he's got like a like flocking on him, like a velvety deli. And then the last item I'll show you in this video is just this little guy right here. He's got like, like say like a pantyhose type thing for his face. So cute. All right, now 
If you guys watched all the other videos, you guys know what to do. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see any of these things. If you guys can attend the live sales on Friday, um, let me know. Just put it in there. It helps us out. It helps me know what to pick. Um, also, make sure you guys check our eBay store because we'll be posting some stuff up in there. I've been spending a lot of time doing the filming. So by the time I'm done out uh, in this Sahara Desert in my in my eBay room, um, I'm kind of done. But anyways, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.